everybody. Welcome back to the Roanoke Library for DIY. And uh, we are gonna be making some clothespin butterflies today. And uh, so really all you need for this, it's gonna be a really, really simple DIY project again. Full list of items, tissue paper, scissors, pipe cleaner, clothespins, markers, and paper towels. So uh, let's get started. So I'll make one out of tissue paper here, and you'll basically follow the same instructions for the uh, butterfly made of paper towels as well. So one full sheet of our tissue paper here, and we are just going to cut that right down the middle doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be scrunching it up anyways. Is so. that a technical term, scrunching? Scrunching, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very technical. <laughs> um, all right, let's straighten this out a little bit. And then all we're going to do is keeping it flat on the table, we're just going to start bunching it up with our fingers. So it's kind of a fan. Like that. Hmm. You can kind of see like that. So now this, you could actually pop this right in here and be done if you wanted to. And this mm. is a beautiful butterfly. Yeah. Or <laughs> if you want to make it a little fancier, we can push this first one down to the bottom. And then if you look at a butterfly, their lower wing portion is a little bit smaller than their upper wing. So we can take our scissors and very carefully we can cut a little bit of the tissue paper away so that it will be a little bit smaller than the one that we put in on top. Mm. Okay. So now that bottom part is done. And then we take the other half of our tissue paper and we crinkle it up the same way. Ta-da! <laughs> Ta-da! Ta-da! Okay, and then we tuck this right in the top harsh portion here. <laughs> kind of fluff it up a little bit. And then when I'm doing the double ones, I like to round off the top wing a little bit as well, since we did that with the bottom wing. But of course you want the top wings to be a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm. So we kind of do the same thing very carefully. Just cut off a little bit of those top wings too. Really just a little off the top and a little off the bottom is all you need. Very All right, cool. and then we have most of our butterfly here. Ta-da! And let's see, I think I'll have a blue body color the top of our clothespin. Nice. Nice and simple. You can do all sorts of little designs on here. You can make mm -hmm. little eyes on there. You can do all sorts of stuff. And then the last thing we're gonna do is take our pipe cleaner and just fold it in half like so. Mm -hmm. So we have two little legs there, or antenna, however you wanna call it. And then you just take the marker mm -hmm. and hold it against and roll it up like that. Ooh. Pull that out a little bit. Pull up the other side, pull that out a little bit. And there we go. And then we pop that right in there too. Don't even need glue because it'll stay right between. And you are all set. There is our butterfly. Very nice. Ta -da. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. And then uh, for the paper towel, the only thing I'll mention is I do suggest using a full sheet um, for the top and bottom. And again, once you have them on your butterfly, and you have them cut to the proportions that you want, 
then you can take them back out and color them however you want. Mm. Um, but if you are going to color these, I do suggest having something underneath the um, paper towel so that when it soaks through, it doesn't get onto the table underneath. Mm. So maybe like uh, some newspaper or some other paper that you mm -hmm. can get some marker on because um, it is pretty thin. Help but the folks keep the table clean. Absolutely. Yes. So um, I think we are all set. We have our butterflies made. Thank you so much for joining us at the library again. And um, Ross, did you want to catch some butterflies? Do I? <laughs> <laughs>